hello guys what's going on my name is john and this is my first video in my html css and javascript playlist in my youtube channel all right so in my first video this is my first video by the way uh, we are going to create a project because in my playlist it's all about a project html css and javascript project okay so i'm going to create some project i don't know how much but i think it's a good idea uh if you beginner in web developer to follow my tutorial in this playlist all right so by the way let's create the project all right guys this is the final project so we want to create in this first video in my html css and javascript project playlist all right so this is it's just very simple landing page and as you can see when i'm open in mobile version it's going to be responsive and just look still look great they look awesome and in the navigation we have hamburger icon and when I click that the navigation is going to be, is going to be showing up to from the left side and I click again it's going to disappear it's going to be cool right okay so I don't want to talk so much let's create that just create a folder called render desk online or you can call everything you like let's create index.html css folder inside the css folder we have style.css and javascript folder inside that we have main.js just so very simple okay let's open the index.html and I'm using Emmet so I can type explanation and hit enter everything it's showing up in here very simple structure HTML okay let's change the title to online video uh, logo and website when I save that it's going to be automatically reload in your browser because I'm using live server, but I don't know why it's not reload. Okay. Um, yeah, first time we have created the header, right? Let's open. Oh, yeah, I, I like to create comment, so I'm not going to be confusing about the section. Okay. So let's create command call header and open the header tag, header tag and create a div with the class branding. Okay, and say render open span tag, say online like that and create Okay, let's see what the final project. Let's create the navigation to the right side. Uh, div with the class nav. Let's create a URL, another list. Inside the another list, let's create a list item and link tag. From now, it's not going to be anywhere. Let's type home and control C. Control C and paste couple time change to I think the sec second to tools it's going to be future it's going to be testimonials it's going to be a uh, subscribe there you go and I save that it's look like this from now I think we're done with the header and HTML. Let's go to style.css and let's go header. 
Oh yeah, I forget about something. Let's remove the margin zero and padding zero. The box sizing. Oh man, box sizing of border box. Cool. Let's do the header and change the background to blue. Save that. Why is not out of reload? I don't know what. Um, yeah, of course. Let's connect with the rstyle.css to index.html. CSS less style.css save and here we go. Okay. So let's do display flex. Line item center and justify content center. Line item center will make you item to center by vertically. Justify content. Oh, why am I not centering? Justify content space between to make you content just like this. Alright, so. What we need to do, let's select the navigation class and another list. Let's create a display to flex, make it horizontally, something like that. Oh, yeah, I forget about something. Let's remove the style list. So, ally style. List, list style, <laughs> list style, none. Are you going to be disappear? And I want to say text decoration none to remove the underline to be removed. Uh, I got. <laughs> Let's select the body the font size to just 18 pixel, pixel. and the uh, font family is going to be sans serif and the uh, font hake oh man hake oh <laughs> line hake it's going to be 1.6 okay cool let's save that it's going to be like that from it's going to be like this right so let's do um Okay, let's just make sure your header is always in the top. So let's do um, see that? position position to fix to the top zero and the left zero, and the width is one hundred percent. And let's change. Let's um, do padding from top and bottom 0 0.4 RAM in the left and right to 1 RAM. Okay, save that. It's going to be like this. Okay, and let's change the background to white. And box box shadow zero vertically and zero horizontally and four pixel for the shadow RGBA zero 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 point five.
Okay, as you can see, we have a box shadow. Okay, so far so good. And what else? Yes, sure. Z index to 10. 10. Okay, so make sure you all the header is always to the top. Okay, so let's change to the font size to zero point nine RAM. Let's say enough UL ally heading this right to one RAM. So it's going to be like this. And now if you will ally why I am so wrong type ally. Okay, let's do text transform to uppercase. Here we go. Let's look like this. Okay, and oh yeah, let's do phone wake, bolt, and then let's copy all about that, and do hover, oh yeah, just change the color to 333, and going to be change the color when we hover the link that color is going to be hey come on man <laughs> it's going to be right let's see this okay so let's paste that in here save and let's see. Okay, we have a uh, hover effect. Okay, oh yeah, let's change the branding styling. Okay, so we have a branding class, right? So let's select that branding uh, font wake to bold. And then change the color to what the color I using in here. Okay, this is the color. Paste that in here, and let's change the font size to one point five RAM. Okay, and select the branding span. Let's change the background to like this, okay. And the border radius to ten pixel. Here we go. Oh yeah, the color of course. Color white. Okay. Cool, all right. Yeah, cool. Now let's create the showcase section. All right, so let's create the showcase section. Let's comment it out. Showcase section. Section. Okay. Let's create a section with ID showcase. Alright, let's create a container and showcase content. Showcase dash content, and from the left side we we create a div with class showcase dash content dash left, and for this is from for the left side. And let's create for the right side. Let's change to the right. Okay, cool. Let's create a showcase 
content title okay and let's put the head tree and let's copy title paste that in here oh yeah it's in there and let's create showcase content body and paragraph let's copy that paste that in here what is that paste that in here and let's create a let's see uh, right here let's create uh, the button okay hit the class btn and the text get started okay say get start. okay cool in the right side we have image all right so let's just copy the image right here copy and paste uh, create the folder called EMG paste everything in here cool let's do image bit source EMG slash uh, it's going to be showcase image where's that okay cool save and it's going to be it's look like this for now okay let's go to the css and let's comment that up uh showcase section okay let's do let's select the section 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 class okay cool Oh, wire section, of course, showcase. <laughs> showcase class. And let's do mean uh, hake. It's going to be 100 view hake. And the width, of course, 100%. And display flex to make it horizontally, as you can see. Um, Oh yeah, I think we don't need the display flex in here. Let's remove that for now. Um, yeah, let's do showcase that's content because we have showcase content wrapper, the showcase content left and showcase content right. Okay, so the good way to use display flex in here not in the showcase ID right in here say display flex it's going to be like this and say line item center and stify content space between Now let's do showcase content left. Let's do flex one. Okay. And say showcase. Ten, right flex is also one okay the reason that is not changing because the image it's full width right now so let's change the image let's copy that paste that in here and let's do image let's set the 
width is 400 pixel okay, it's going to be, it's going to be like this if this is uh completely same the width 500 percent 500 percent because we set the showcase left to one and showcase right to one also okay let's do the title show showcase content dash title let's see let's set the width it's going to be 400 pixel and the margin for the top and bottom say 2 rem and left and right 0 why I put the showcase content for 100 pixel the reason that because in the final projects as you can see we have the title just 400 pixel I just want to show you by example maybe all right I just want to show you why we set the width 400 pixel because when I set the background red this is the reason why we set the width is 400 pixel because it, we if we don't do that it's going to be like this but I want to it's make it something like the final project you can as you can see so let's set the width 400 pixel and remove the background okay cool now let's make it uh, S3 a little bigger so just copy that and put the S3 okay uh, let's change the font size to 2.3 RAM I think and uh, line take to 1.3 and the color let's see the final project what the color I use same like this or I don't know just make sure here we go save and just like this is okay look like this and let's set the paragraph okay to let's copy that let's change to paragraph of course it's going to be body and then let's do opacity to 0 0.9 all right i forget the container as you can see right here we have a container so let's do container in here let's set the width to 90 percent and make it that uh, the, the content in the middle so margin top and bottom zero and outer to the left and right uh, the problem uh, the content is not centered it's just you know in under the header because we put the header position is fixed so of course you can do margin top and maybe 5 RAM or something like that it's going to be push the content down okay but I like to use some tricks so it's a uh, center it first vertical and horizontally so let's do display flex and let's say oh line items center here we go it's going to be like this okay and set the background uh, 
background to URL mg slash oh yeah we are we in the CSS file so you have to out to the folder CSS go to image and then showcase dash pg dot svg I think yeah cool all right yeah something like that let's give a style to the button okay let's see where is that right here let's do class ptn oh ptn and let's read the padding 0.8 RAM and 2.8 RAM. Okay, the background we use a linear gradient to bottom, and the color is going to be F7 AD4C and F1 70 70 we forget that stack like so okay save and it's going to be like that okay and let's set the display inline block Border radius to 30 pixel and say border non just make sure text transform let's change to uppercase and change the color to white and just make sure you have a cursor pointer it's going to be like this okay um why the opacity is not work let's see showcase content body oh yeah yeah just create a padding top i believe so let's do margin top i mean <laughs> margin top not padding margin top 1.5 rem it's going to be push it down like there and let's do the hover ptn ptn hover let's change the opacity to 0 0.9 okay yeah so let's go to the tool section All right so back to the index.html our tools it's our tools section okay just like above say section text section with id um, what the good name our tools I think but uh, I'm not good to <laughs> okay it, it's good our time our tools it's fine let's create a container and then class our tools dash wrapper and then class our tools does um yeah title title and put the hatch tree let's copy that and paste that in here we have a title 
and in here let's set uh, body body our tools this body set the paragraph and copy that paste that in here okay and set uh, class our tools does content okay and set the uh, class tools tools and logo which is right here okay so to image and this has the ml so let's do image slash create logo there and set the paragraph let's copy that let's turn here let's copy paste and paste is going to be video videos it's going to be video and let's copy that paste that in here and we have it's going to be website white and let's change that to website okay copy that and paste that in here okay save and let's see what we have okay the website i think wrong um it's going to be create website save and here we go okay let's go to style.css let's see the final project all right so what we want to do select okay let's select let's make comment our tools section id our uh, tools let's set the uh, hake oh hake to 100% and width 100% and the padding top and bottom to ram 0 we have padding in here okay so yeah let's do class our tools tools does wrapper okay let's set uh, max width sweet to 750 pixel and the margin zero auto and set the text align text align center let's make it everything center it okay let's look like this let's styling the title uh, our tools title set the margin zero auto set a line hake to 1.2 and the position relative because we want to create 
the line right here you have to put position relative in here and you are going to use pseudo class to create the line say after all right so let's uh, position absolute and take 10 pixel and the width 60 pixel and the background uh, 6 B D D 70 okay and uh, set to the bottom minus 20 pixel see let's see the friend oh it's not working what it's going on all right let's create the content to nothing okay here you go um yeah i think let's styling the title um, our tools title history and set a text align center and font size 2.5 RAM and the font wake to bold bold and the uh, color is going to be 397A F9 ok save and here we go yeah uh, as you can see it's not center yet right the reason the reason that because we set the width to 60 pixel so if you want to make this center it just do margin left to minus 30 pixel here you go it's going to be centered from now okay it's look good so now let's styling the body okay our content our tools um, body let's set the margin top to 5 RAM I think and opacity is going to be 0 0.5 save and let's see here we go and let's set the content our das tools das content okay set the margin desktop to Oh, it's not a good idea. Margin top and bottom for RAM and zero for the left and right. Say display for now we want to use this big display grid. Display grid and set the grid gap. I mean space around the element. It's going to be 3.5 RAM. And uh, let's set the grid template column. It's going to be repeat three one hundred fifty pixel to line items center and justify content space between 
save and here we go it's going to be like this okay let's give a styling to the image our tools content emg which is the image let's set the hake uh just see a okay cool let's uh change the opacity to the background to the paragraph let's copy that it's going to be paragraph and set to the opacity 0.5 and margin top one ram okay it's look awesome right i think we're done with the uh, our tools oh yeah the background <laughs> the button uh, link tag with the class btn and then text is try now save here we go it's going to be automatically styling because we have we have already styling the class btn in the showcase section which is uh or that here okay all right next let's create the filter section which is here all right so let's open index.html make it comment feature section uh, let's see video section let's do section with ID um, feature okay it's inside in here okay cool let's see the final project okay we have a full background When I set in here container, it's not going to be showing the background full width because as you can see, the container have a padding, all right? So it's not a good idea to do a container in here. Let's do div with class. Future videos feature video and inside here let's say container okay so future dash wrapper which is we are going to create display flag in this class all right let's do future dash um, image and Feature das text. All right. Let's set the image. Let's set the image tag, and we are going to use video mobile SVG right here. Let's set the feature text. Let's create a div with the class feature title. All right, let's say H3 It's going to be Y Render Online Videos Video Like that And let's set the Future Dash Body Okay, open the B tag, say Lorem, I don't know, maybe 20. 
yeah, something like that. Of uh, yeah, maybe lorem 3D. Okay. Let's set to um, what else? Yeah, the button, of course. It's not going anywhere. Let's create a class from BTN and future dash video dash BTN and the tag is going to be try for free. Okay, let's copy all about that. Paste that in here and paste two more time okay uh, let's change the command to logo section is going to be future dash logo logo and change the image to logo and y render online logo And future logo dash btn. Let's change that to be website section. Let's that. Let's change future website and the image website and the title website and the button. Alright, I think we're done with the future section in HTML. Let's go to style.css. And oh, yeah, before that, I just want to show you what we have for now. Alright, I want to do something like this. Alright, so let's command there out to future section and video oh man all right we have a future wrapper in here so you can set the display flex to make it the image and the text horizontally all right so let's do what is that a uh, future wrapper all right Let's do future dash wrapper and set the display flex and flex dash wrap is wrap and the flex direction uh, row and uh, line this item center and justify content space this between okay uh, the reason is not horizontally because the image it's full width right now so let's change the width Say future dash wrapper maybe in class future image future image and image let's set to it to 80% copy that they start in here let's do flex one and the text text one two right it's going to be like this okay so as you can see in the final project we have a uh, hake maybe something like 600 pixel so let's set the hake in the future wrapper so mean hate 
to 600 pixel and let's set the width 500% and padding top and bottom to RAM and 0 and set the color to yeah oh set the color to white Let's comment that out for now All right as you can see we have um, Hake it's the section in the video section uh, logo and website all right so let's create uh, let's change the background for the video so let's do future video future this video let's change the background to uh, four five eight to f nine save and here we go so let's make it look like this all right I'm using um, clip pad so clip this pad polygon uh, as you can see the final the final project up to zero and zero in here so let's do zero zero and 100% zero right 100% zero and in here we have 100 percent and the vertically we have 90 percent all right so all right i just want to show you how to create full background right just to 100 percent and 100 percent it's going to be coma i think yeah Something like that and zero one hundred percent why I'm always type it's not going to change anything all right so let's change the one hundred percent in here to nine percent so as you can see we have really cool background in here okay so let's do the title okay where's that all right here yeah say future dash tax and future dash title let's set the maximal width to 450 pixel let's set uh, future oh just make it just comment there out oh what i'm doing let's copy there out paste that in here and say has three set the uh, font size to um 2.5 ram yeah that's cool and the margin that's bottom to 4 ram yeah uh set the line hake line hake to 1.3 Okay. In the final project, as you can see, we have the line like this. So just make sure you do position relative in here. Let's comment that out.
paste that in here and it's going to be after what did I do that? after set uh, content to nothing and the position is going to be absolute to width let's set the uh, pixel and the egg egg pixel and the background to five zero C D F nine the bottom minus to run and to left zero save and here we go all right so let's uncomment the color like this okay let's look cool all right uh let's do where is that change the margin bottom to five oh yeah we need to change the background so let's do future video dash btn and change the background to 6 uh, db75 save and here we go right so let's do for the logo uh, for the website website So let's do class future dash website to I think all right just do that clip dash path say polygon to zero zero one hundred percent ten percent yeah 10 percent and it's going to be 100 percent 100 percent and zero 100 percent okay set the background to 9 1 8 9 f let's save that it's going to be look like this okay so let's change the as you can see the final project we have a different background in here so let's do that future dash website and future dash wrapper s3 after change the background to f17 c6 okay save and here we go okay and again let's change the button because we have the color okay set the future dash website dash ptn all right set the background to uh five seven db F9 save and here we go go let's styling the logo right now logo 
let's change the text of course so future dash logo Log logo and future dash text change the color to 333 there you go as you can see the final project we have image we have text and we have text and image so how to change the position logo in here the logo in the right side and the text to the left side all right to do that let's do something in we in this html logo section uh, image let's do want to put the image to the right right so let's do right and left okay save and go to style.css say future dash wrapper and left to order one okay copy that paste it's going to be right and order is going to be two save and here we go but as you can see the logo is not right side you know so just to text align right okay cool yeah i think we're done with the uh, Future section. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, I think the line in here. It's not going to be same with the video section. So let's do that. Future logo. Future dash wrapper and history after. Oh man, why do you do that? After, let's change the background to 6BDD70. Save, and here we go. Right, I think we're done with the future section. All right. Next, let's do testimonial section. All right. So let's open the index.html. Let's do, let's create. Uh, testimonial section testimonial section open the section tag and uh, give ID to testimonial and wrap the content with the container so container and testimonial desk title and let's uh, head three and copy the title and paste that in here right so let's do testimonials testimonial wrapper from for to wrap the box in here all right okay so in the 
inside the testimonial testimonial wrapper we have image and the text all right so let's do a div in the class testimonial testimonial this image all right and open the image tag image uh, the file is going to be people.jpg all right and we have oh yeah let's see we have text in here so let's do history say John Doe all right and the paragraph yeah, for marketing manager okay cool all right let's create a div again with the class testimonial text testimonial this text which is the text here okay so let's open the pay tag and do lorem i don't know 50 maybe save and let's see what we have uh yeah just do 60 right save let's see what we have right now okay it's look like this so let's open the style.css and let's create the styling okay to test testimonial testimonial uh, section okay and Let's select the uh, ID testimonial, testimonial, and let's get the uh, let's set the hake to one hundred percent and do it one hundred percent and the padding to to run and zero in the background to f5 f f okay set the margin dash bottom to for ram save and it's going to be, it's going to be look like this all right Let's see, yeah. All right. Let's select the uh, testimonial title. Testimonial. Desk title. To text align. To center. Let's make it that center it. And the color. Oh, what the hell color to three nine seven in f9 okay and change the wake to bolt and then change the font size to ram make it a little bigger and the position relative because you want to create the line right here okay okay so let's do testimonial yeah title and after set the content to nothing and then position position to absolute of course and let's set the hake to 
uh, 8 pixel and the width is going to be 16 pixel to the background to F1 7 C 7 C 6 alright and then to left percent and make it center it to say margin depth left minus 3d pixel all right here you go and let's set the uh, let's see the final project let's set the uh, wrapper okay so let's do testimonial dash wrapper set the background to white and the max width oh max width to uh, 700 pixel and the margin 5 rem for the top and it's going to be auto and auto all right let's do the padding to 6 ram for the top and bottom and for ram left and right okay say display flex to make the content horizontally i mean something like this okay so let's do uh yeah flex direction just make sure everything is row next direction are row and justify content space dash between all right change the color the text to 333 and let's set the box shadow to zero vertically horizontally and the shadow is going to be 15 pixel rgba uh, let's set uh, zero zero point three maybe save and yeah it's going to be look like this all right Let's do testing monial image. Let's set the flex to one and then let's copy that. We start in here and select the image. Let's change the width to eighty percent save here we go oh yeah i think that's it and uh, let's set the testimonial testimonial image uh has three it's going to be the name john do right here Set the color to three nine seven a f save and it's going to be look like this. All right, let's do oh testimonial image and the paragraph let's set the font size to 0 0.9 RAM and the font weight to bold all right let's do testimonial test title set the flex to 3 
All right. All right. You know what, guys? <laughs> I think I'm wrong to type title in here. It's going to be uh, text. All right. Title mean is right here. You need to select testimonial text, not title. That's the, <laughs> we have problem in here. So let's change that to text. Save and here we go. There's so much uh, text, so let's remove something like, I don't know, save, and yeah, I think, yeah, alright, so let's create a newsletter section and the footer, so let's make it comment to newsletter section okay let's open the section tag and give ID newsletter right and container and then we have the title say oh, newsletter this title if, uh, copy that and paste that in here and copy that again and paste that in here okay cool and in here we have the input all right let's set the newsletter input right here newsletter dash input all right open the input tag it's going to be a name it's id name and the placeholder it's going to be let's say, enter your name say enter your name and uh, let's copy that paste is going to be email and id email it's going to be your email and remove that it's going to be email all right let's create the button that the uh, input type is input it's And the value, oh, it's going to be submit. Submit. And the value is going to be, uh, the value meaning is the text, all right? So do subscribe. And the class using the BTN class. Okay. I think we're done. Let's see the footer just very simple footer so let's create the footer open the footer tag all right and set the container and uh, what we call this uh, let's do div class year <sighs> I'm not good to set name, give a class name, but it's fine. Say, say render online. Copy 2019. All right. Let's do um, icons. All right and set the uh, open the e tag and the class of uh, fr dash facebook 
that's a copy that and paste a couple time change to the second icon to be twitter and it's going to be well it's going to be uh instagram instagram and it's going to be youtube all right save that and let's see the final project let's see the what we have for now okay it's good it's, it's look like this so let's styling the newsletter so let's comment there out let's see newsletter section okay select the ID with the class uh, news oh. news letter give a background two three nine seven a f nine save that it's going to be look like this and give a padding for the top and bottom and then change the text color to white and make it everything center it text align here we go and let's styling the news letter test title All right let's change the font size to 1.2 RAM and then set the position to relative set the newsletter title paragraph tag and let's select the and child 2 change the font size to one room here we go it's a different font size all right okay let's styling the line right here okay let's do newsletter title they tag after and do content nothing and set the oh position to absolute and do it it's going to be 16 pixel and the hake egg pixel and the background it's going to be oh uh five zero c df9 let's see all right what the hell is going on um yeah before we have two paragraphs so we have two line in here okay it doesn't really matter is that the bottom two minus 1.7 run right here and uh, left 50 percent and set the uh, margin in this left to minus 25 pixel uh no 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 it's gonna be 3d pixel newsletter this input all right let's give a margin uh, top and bottom to for ram left and right auto and uh wait max width to 700 pixel and justify content 
a space between and align item or oh, items to center and the position relative right it's going to be a loop like this let's set the newsletter input input tag let's set the border none set outline none and the uh, hake it's going to be 2.5 rem there we go and the border radius Oh, really? But the radius is going to be 1.25 RAM. Cool. Let's give a text in then to 15 pixel and the font size to 1 RAM. Change the color as well to 333. All right, really cool. The final project, as you can see, we have a different width with the name and the email and the button. So let's do newsletter input input and oh really and child one oh to flex basis uh 220 pixel let's copy that paste two more time things two and three all right it's going to be 450 pixel and all right let's see why is not work um let's see oh really <laughs> display flex of course here you go all right let's the uh, let's set the input last child to position absolute here we go It's not like space yet. We don't need that. Oh yeah, of course. Why I set twenty pixel in here? Here we go. Okay, cool. Um, let's set the uh, uh, margin zero and padding zero. Reset everything to the button. Say right to zero, and the color is white. Here we go. And let's change the what again? Let's not center it. Just do text align center. Um. Oh yeah text in then to zero here we go all right let's change the um type to input let's save that and here we go it's completely same right let's go to footer select the uh, footer tag and give a background 
to it's going to be same like this base and let's do padding 3 RAM 3 RAM as well there you go let's do footer dash wrapper let's set to the display flex and then align item center and uh, justify content to space between there we go and change the color as well to white there you go oh. uh, footer this wrapper this year years and paragraph change the font size to one run all right save and um you know what why it's not changing the color um let's see what the problem is um ah, yeah of course let's add the footer 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 wrapper wrapper in here save and here we go <sighs> sorry about that okay and let's do footer dash wrapper that dot icon mm. uh, e. let's do the font size to 1.4 RAM make it a little bigger of course and let's set the margin this right to 1 RAM and then let's set the cursor to pointer all right here we go all right i think we're done with the desktop version as you can see it's look nice all right but in the final project and if we open in the mobile version it still look nice but let's see what we have <laughs> as you can see it's not good so let's make it styling okay all right Let's go to the nav bar. Where is that? Um, where is that? Right here. Uh, you know, guys, in the mobile version, we have hamburger icon. So let's create that in the index.html go to very top and under oh oh yeah we have the hamburger icon under the branding All right let's link that um hamburger icon okay cool let's do hamburger this icon 
set the width to 5 pixel and the hake to 5 pixel and I set the position to relative and display flex align item center and justify content center let's change let's do the cursor pointer and then the opacity zero because uh, this is the mobile uh, desktop version all right set the z index to 10 okay let's open the project you know what let's comment the opacity so we can styling the hamburger icon all right so hamburger icon span which is right here let's set the position to absolute with 100 percent and the hake is 3 pixel and the background is set to 111 it's look like this as you can see do you see that <laughs> all right let's do hamburger icon span uh, it's going to be b4 so do class set the content to nothing and position absolute and left zero and top eight pixel and do it 100 percent and then the height is going to be three pixel the background one 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 all right here you go um let's copy all about that let's change the before to after and what and change the top to minus one there we go there you go it's going to be look like this <coughs> right so let's do the media screen all right let's do the media query let's do don't need that say media screen and mix with to 900 pixel all right let's do the header with the class enough um position to absolute top zero right top zero for now and the left zero and change the background set the background to white let's make sure and the width is going to be 100 percent and hake let's set the 100 view hake here we go let's do transition all uh, zero zero point five second is in okay and uh, enough you all all right let's change the flex direction 
to column look at that column here we go and uh, justify content to center and the padding to 5 RAM and 0 alright let's do the LI enough ULI set the padding to 1.5 RAM here you go let's change the cursor to pointer let's make sure here we go cool let's do the hover effect hover when we hover I want to change the background to EE F5 FE okay let's see here we go you see that and uh, hamburger icon let's see the desktop we have uh, opacity to zero and comment that it's going to be disappear let's do in here opacity to one here we go yeah they're going to showing the navigation when I click that okay so we're, go we're going to use JavaScript to do that but for now I want to do the navigation to minus um, 900 pixel it's going to be gone all right let's do the showcase under here all right let's create a media screen and next width to 900 pixel all right we need to showcase dot content thanks to the flex direction direction to column and uh, text align to center okay let's see okay here we go let's do showcase there's content there's title and h3 let's change the font size to RAM here we go and then showcase content there's left let's do margin 5 RAM and 0 here we go oh and the title showcase oh man showcase there's content there's title let's do do it to 100 percent here we go yeah it's completely same okay cool let's go to the our tool section right here open uh, media screen and mix width to 700 pixel and let's see all right here we go 
our tools dash content change the grid template column grid template dash column to 150 pixel there we go and to justify content center make it that center it what we need to do is change the title to make it a little small so let's do our tools there's title has three I believe change the font size uh, to RAM here we go it's cool and let's go to the future section right here uh, media screen and max width set to 900 pixel oh 900 pixel now what we need to do is do future dash wrapper and change the flex direction to oh man direction to column as well here we go and do the padding to 5 RAM and 0 and let's do let's change the image future dash wrapper EMG all right and set the next width to 500 pixel here we go all right uh, if you can see the final project we have image the text image text image text but in our project right now we have image text text image so let's fix that to future there's wrapper dot left let's change the order to and let's copy that we start here change to the right oh right and order one save and here we go all right let's styling the testimonial in a mobile version right here okay here we go let's do media screen and max dash width to 700 pixel What we need to do is let's do testimonial dash wrapper let's do flex direction to column and padding top and bottom for RAM and two RAM for the left and right here we go and let's styling the image testimonial dash image dash emg let's do the width 100 pixel here we go all right next is change the text uh, testimonial text and do margin desktop to one RAM and the font size one RAM as well here we go let's styling the newsletter right now let's go to above the footer right here and open a 
media screen and max dash width to 700 pixel what I need to do is to news letter input change the flex direction to column and just copy that paste that in here and we select the input what we need to do is change the height to 400 pixel for change the height to 40 pixel and the width is 70 percent and to margin bottom to 1.2 RAM and yeah let's copy that right here and paste in here what we need to do is to like spaces auto right here is going to be auto as well and what it's doing here is to position to rel oh man relative and change the color to white and text align center and uh, text in then let's do zero all right it's going to be look like this for now let's change the footer to make it vertically all right so very bottom let's open the media screen and max width to 700 pixel and what we need to do is to footer wrapper and change the flex direction flex direction to column and footer wrapper dot icons and select the last child uh, reset the margin right zero here we go all right let's make it uh, hamburger icon work so open the javascript file open the route okay close the route all right let's select the hamburger icon so cons hamburger icon equals to document dot query selector remember we have hamburger i class hamburger icon hamburger dash icon and select the nav as well say mobile nav equals to document Mulai, mulai. Oke, 
all right let's do cons hamburger icon equals to document dot query oh man document dot query selector remember we have class uh, hamburger icon so let's do hamburger icon okay and then, uh, what the name is say mobile enough equals to document document dot say query selector remember we have class enough okay so let's say hamburger icon dot at even listener uh, we need to listen the click event and when I click the button we need to run this function show show nav all right let's create the show nav function say cons show nav equals to arrow function okay and yeah i want to create let uh nav open equals to true right here so what we need to do is just if statement all right so if enough open is true let's select the uh, mobile nav change the style and change the left to zero because remember we have styling the navigation to my left minus 900 pixel so make it back to zero all right and else all right we need to make it back to false okay and what we need to do is let's copy that paste that in here and make it minus 900 pixel and change that to true and that's it save and reload and I click that it's not work all right it's not work because we wrong type in document right here right okay save and let's see here we go all right so i think that's it guys so really cool if you want to download the code as well you can download in description below and yeah just like any youtuber in the world saying don't forget to it